There is trouble in the trucking industry. You know those big trucks that haul all of our goods? Yellow Corporation, a 99-year-old trucking company, has shut down, leaving 30,000 people without work. This news comes as thousands of truck drivers around the country have left the business this year. Two trucking business owners join me to share their point of view. Rap legend, and you know him, Lil Troy, want to be a baller, shot caller, and Dominique Leonard, both own trucking companies. Guys, we have seen the rates go down significantly for truck drivers across the nation, and many are leaving the industry. Troy, have you been impacted by this? Have you seen a difference in rates? And if so, why? Well, there's a big difference in the rates. Uh... The brokers, to me, is keeping too much of the uh, lion's share of the money for the job that all the truck drivers is doing. And so that's making the truck drivers, you know, not making enough money by the time they pay for fuel, maintenance, uh, uh, insurance, and stuff like that. They ain't really brought no money home to be gone all day or, or for a whole week at a time. And so for many of us who are not familiar with your industry, when you say broker, is that like the middleman between the company, say a Walmart and a little Troy trucking company? That's the middleman. The middleman want to keep all the money. <laughs> yep, the broker is the middleman. And Dominique, what has been your experience as a trucking company owner? Well, as Little Troy said, I got to piggyback on what he said. It makes it makes a lot of sense because again, what happens is that by the time we get the load, that money been cut three different ways already. And like I said, they don't take in consideration the fact that we got to pay for gas. We got to, for example, I just got out of my truck just now, and I had to get some, some more tires on my truck. That's another, you know, X amount of money. So what happens again is that we get these loads, but the money's already cut three different times. Now, they think because gas goes down, the load should go down. That's not so. You know, if gas go down, the load should be at a nice amount to where we can still make money and provide for our family, our children, whatever it may be. Because again, we're out here and we're grinding. And sometimes, like right now, the loads right now are so low. You have to do about two loads, three loads a day to make the money you was making before with just one load. Now, why, Dominique, are we seeing uh, the brokers or the so-called middlemen taking so much off the top? Or is that it? You know, I mean, are the companies not paying as well? Well, so most brokers, what they do, they'll go in there and they'll bid for a load. Let's just give an example. Let's just say the load pay 500 okay? okay? And then, you know, and the broker will say, hey, I want to keep 175 of that or maybe 125 of that. So now the load now is th is 325 or 425. And so we'll call for this load 425, but we have to say, hey, I think it's a lot off your hand right now. If you give me 425 or 450 or 475, we'll say, well, listen, I got to make some money too, man. So at least leave me something on the table for myself. And I'm like, what? what? So I feel like if the load is 500, give it to us 500. Don't cut off the top, but brokers got to make their money too. And I get that, but at the same time, don't scheme too much off the top. Leave some there for me and Troy to make money. Now, is it impossible for you guys, Little Troy, to go directly to the companies and say, look, here's what we should be paid, and we're not getting this with the middleman, so let's get the middleman out of the picture? Well, it's possible certain certain loads I have that I go direct to the customer and I, I take the load from the customer, but majority of the loads have to go through, uh, which is a broker. And a broker a lot of times want to take between anywhere between 25 to 50 percent of that, of that, uh, that wow. amount that they're paying. See, so like you saying, they paying a thousand dollars, the broker almost want to keep 500 of it. They, you know, I can see them making 15, 15 percent of whatever that load is. That's because you ain't did nothing. You ain't did the work. I took the load, I've been gone all day or all week or whatever, so, you know, let me make some money. Let the truck driver make some money for they can feed their family. You sit in the office behind the desk on the computer, took you 20 minutes to put, post the load, and we take it, take us three hours, four or five hours to, to do the load, but you make you make the line share. Mm -hmm. Now, have we, and now, actually, in looking at a national report, we're starting to see people walk away how will that uh, and that being that being drivers walk away from this industry from this business how this will affect the viewer at home how will this impact them well you want to go ahead Dominique well I think what happens is that just because drivers are walking away these loads still got to get moved and what happens is that a lot of times drivers will take 
a little bit of no no money at all just to move a load and say, hey, I made some money. So that makes it harder for the other drivers who want to make money and say, hey, I, I won't take a load of $400, $500, but the other driver will. And so now it's hurt not only the people at home, but it's hurting also the truck drivers who 